As the moon first cast its shadow on the west coast Monday morning, crowds watched in awe. The sun completely blocked out, temporarily turning day into night. It brought tears to my eyes, which I totally didn't expect, but I think, you know, it's, I've never experienced anything like this. Millions of people gathered to watch the first coast-to-coast -coast total eclipse in the U.S. in 99 years. Carbondale, Illinois, had the longest period of darkness, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. It's like a big cookie and it took a little bite out of it. Not everybody watched from the ground, though. Alaska Airlines booked a special charter flight so people could get a closer look from the air. It's amazing. Even President Trump and the First Lady took a peek at the White House. And at Liberty State Park in Jersey City, the viewing party was so crowded it created complete gridlock. We spent at least an hour and a half on the turnpike just coming down the exit. Busy New Yorkers stopped and stared up at the sun, but thankfully, most took precautions. I was definitely not looking right at the sun, but with these glasses, it looks great. And I'm just looking at a reflection of the sun through a pinhole in the tinfoil. And it worked amazing. Some use glasses, their cell phones, or homemade viewing boxes. Even paper plates were turned into makeshift shades. But what really happens if you didn't follow all those safety reminders? Here at the Eye Center at the Nassau University Medical Center, doctors are on standby tonight in case someone did make a mistake and look directly at the eclipse. It actually burns your retina and becomes a scar. Ophthalmologist John Alexander says if you look directly at the eclipse, you could get symptoms like blurry vision, watery eyes, and you'd see blind spots either right away or in the next few days. It's how long they're looking and how big of a scar it makes or how many photoreceptors it damages that would determine uh, the, the blind spot that you have and how much you would notice. It seems just about everyone noticed this rare celestial event. Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News.